recital type of makeup look. This is the makeup that I always wear for my dance recitals each year and I know that each studio has specific like recommendations and requirements for their makeup. My studio likes us to have like a neutral bronze eye with like a pink kind of cheek and also a red lip. They do say that you can add on eyeliner if you want but I decided not to just because I never put on eyeliner for the show and I just thought if you want to add it on go for it and false lashes the same way if you're really into it go for it but I just don't really think those things look very good on me, so I decided just to keep it kind of low-key, if you know what I mean. I also wanted to mention that in this tutorial, I only did show you guys one of my eyebrows and one of my eyes because I didn't really think it was really necessary to show you both. I did both, like, cheeks and, of course, my lips and everything, but I don't know. I was kind of like, well, if I don't need to show you both sides, like, you get the gist of seeing one eye done. And also, it saves time, and also, you guys probably won't get as bored as quickly, hopefully. Also, last thing, if you're wondering why the lighting's different and why um, my hair is in a ponytail and I kind of had to redo my lipstick, well, I was just editing this video and I was like, shiz, I forgot to do an intro. So, uh, you're getting it now. I seriously thought I was in the clear and then I was like, Maggie, pull yourself together, you didn't even do an intro. I haven't done a tutorial for a really long time, can you tell? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's just get started. Starting with this look, I'm going to grab my e.l.f. $1 eyelid primer. I'm just going to prime my lids just to make sure my eyeshadow does not crease while I'm on stage. While I'm waiting for the primer to sink in, I'm going to use my NYX Micro Brow Pencil just to fill in and define my eyebrows. This is a crucial step if you're someone like me who has very sparse thick eyebrows because you don't want your eyebrows to be completely invisible on stage. Now to make sure that my eyebrows stay in place the entire performance, I'm going to use my Maybelline Brow Drama Mascara just to add a little bit of extra definition and again just to make sure they stay in place. the eyeshadow, I'm going to use my Bourjois Powder Bronzer just to act as a transition shade for my crease and for the rest of the colors to blend into. This is a really great option if you don't have a matte brown in your palette like I do. For the rest of the eyeshadow, I'm going to use my e.l.f. palette. I don't think this is actually available anymore, but I know for sure you can find any of these shades from a different brand. I'm going to take the middle golden shade and I'm just going to pack this all over my lid just to act as a little bit of extra brightness. Next, I'm taking the bronze, which is on the middle of the left side of the palette, and I'm just going to put this on my outer corner and work it into my crease, making sure that the blend between the two shades is seamless and just looks like a natural gradient. Next, I'm just taking the bronze shade that's on the middle of the right side of the palette. I'm just going to put this in the outer V of my eye, and I'm just going to blend this a little bit into my crease, mainly just keeping it in that outer portion, though. Next, I'm going back to that gold shade. I'm just going to use my finger just to pack it on the inner half of my lid, just to add a little bit of extra brightness. Taking the matte cream shade on the middle of the left side, I'm just going to highlight my brow bone. Next, I'm grabbing my NYX Wonder Pencil. This is just a cream colored eyeliner. I'm just going to use this in my waterline just to brighten up my eyes and make them look a little bit larger. I'm also going to be placing this on my inner corner just to brighten up my eyes just a little bit more. And I don't know if you can see it, but to me, it makes a huge difference in the way your eyes appear and they just look so much larger. Next, I'm going to take the champagne shade on the left side in the center. I'm just going to put this on my inner corner again just to brighten things up. Now 
Now instead of using false lashes today, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. mascara primer. It's basically just like a white mascara with little fibers in it, and I supply this to my upper lashes just to add a lot of extra length. While we're waiting for the mascara primer to dry, I'm going to use my NYX Pore Filler Primer just to prime my skin, minimizing all my pores and just to make sure that I have a smooth canvas for my foundation. This is also a crucial step because since you're going to be underneath those bright lights on stage, you do not want your foundation to break up on you, so this is just going to help make sure that it stays on and stays put. Once that mascara primer is dry, I'm going to grab my NYX Curvaceous Mascara and just apply a couple coats of this to my upper lashes. Next, I'm grabbing my CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara just to separate my lashes a little bit further and to get rid of any clumps that I may have. Starting off the face makeup, I'm going to grab my Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum. I'm just going to apply this on my skin with my fingers. I'm just doing it section by section because this stuff does dry quite quickly. And then I'm just going to blend it all out with a beauty blender just to get a flawless finish. taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, I'm just going to apply this underneath my eyes just to cancel out all those dark circles and then also down the bridge of my nose. I'm also grabbing my e.l.f. under eye concealer in a shade lighter than my skin tone. I'm just going to apply this on my chin, on my cupid's bow, underneath where I put the Maybelline concealer as well as on my forehead just to act as a natural highlight. Then I'm just going to blend this all out with the same beauty blender. Next, I'm grabbing my Maybelline Master Conceal just to conceal all those blemishes. everything in place, I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Powder. First, I'm taking it on a small brush just under my eyes, just to make sure my concealer does not crease. Now I'm taking on that same brush, I'm just going to target the areas where I put blemish concealer on, and then later I'm going to use a big fluffy brush just to put this in my T-zone to help with that shine. Next, I'm grabbing my Revlon Photo Ready Cream Blush in the shade Pinched, and I'm just going to use this as a base for the powder blush we're going to be applying later. I'm applying this with a little stipple brush. This is just going to make sure that the powder blush stays on our cheeks for the entire performance and does not just slip and slide everywhere. Next, I'm going to be applying the Temp2 Liquid Highlight in the shade Pink Pearl just to my cheekbones and just blending it out with my fingers, again acting as a base for the powder highlight we'll apply later. Going 
on to bronzer, I'm using the Bourjois Chocolate Bronzer just to contour and kind of bronze up my face a little bit more, just to add a little bit of warmth, just because those lights definitely tend to wash you out, and since I am already super pale, it's just good to have a little bit of extra color and life in the skin. Next, I'm grabbing the Rimmel Lasting Finish Blush in the shade Pink Sorbet. I'm just going to apply this on the apples of my cheeks and just working upwards. For highlight, I'm going to use the top shimmery shade on the left of the palette. And I'm just going to apply this on my cheekbones, just using a little brush. This gives a beautiful glow, but you want to be careful when you're using eyeshadow as highlight just because it tends to be a little bit more pigmented. Moving on to lips, I'm using the Lee Swatchy Lip Liner in the shade Rouge. This is a really beautiful lip liner because it is waterproof, so it stays on a super long amount of time. I'm just lining the outer rim of my lips, and then I will start to fill them in. I would recommend filling in your lips after you've applied a lip balm. I completely forgot to do this and when I remembered, it was kind of the exact wrong place to remember. This just really helped blend the lip liner and mine, as you can see, is quite hard to blend so I'll use my finger and stuff, but it's not that big of a deal because you're going to be putting lipstick on top of it, but I just thought I would throw that in for you guys. lipstick today, I'm using my Lee Swatch Hay Lipstick in the shade Grenadine. Oh my gosh, this color is insanely beautiful. It's perfect for dance recitals. I love it. Anyway, it's just a beautiful kind of shimmery red color. This stuff stays on your lips for such a long time, so again, it is absolutely perfect. I just, I love it. I love it. 